guys and welcome to another episode on 22nd of may uh, version 6 2.0 of angular material was released with it uh, a great feature arrived uh, called the virtual scroll so um, i thought of making a video about it because it's uh, quite interesting and um, we will learn what virtual scroll is what are the benefits of and how to use it of course, please note that this is under Syndicate Experimental. Uh, Syndicate stands for Component Dev Kit, and it's uh, the stepping stone for everything built on uh, on Angular material. And um, yeah, it's still experimental, so um, note that it's not robust yet, and not an official feature of Angular material. So, uh, what is a virtual scroll. Well, as the name implies, it has something to do with simulating the action of scrolling. What I mean by that is uh, traditionally the browser pre renders everything on the page, but with virtual scroll, why, when you scroll the page, ev uh, everything gets rendered dynamically before it reaches your view. Which leads to the next question What is the benefit of doing this? Well, uh, imagine you have a really long list of uh, data sets, let's say phone numbers. The browser will have to render an element for each phone number and keep track of what to show when you scroll the page. So this can be quite expensive as you can imagine. And we're talking about plain text. What if you are rendering hundreds of thousands of components which are more complex in structure and calculation time is greater than those with plain text. What happens then? Well, I have prepared a demo so we can see the problem and then implement a virtual scroll to see the difference it makes. So let's get to that. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've gone ahead and created a phone book. Um, this phone book is 10,000 rows long and each row is a rendered Angular component. So I will go ahead and explain the code Base now. Uh, basically, we have a contacts container which contains uh, all the contacts in the form of a contact row component. And also, we have a filter here for searching by phone. And later, let's look at how Virtual Score can help. So, let's start by searching the phone number. Uh, the phone numbers are random. I will choose 505. So, did you notice that it took a while to filter and render the component? Let's go back. You see here when I press backspace, it took a while to render the data. That's what the problem is with having 10,000 components rendered in the browser. So um, let's see what Virtual Scroll can do for us. Let's start by opening a terminal and install Angular Syndicate and Angular Syndicate Experimental. When that's done, let's open up a module and import scrolling module from here. And yeah, let's first the page. Great, now we're ready to implement this. Um, so we need two things. First, we need to replace this with a syndicate virtual scroll viewport. And here, instead of the structure component four, structure directive four, there's a custom uh, CDK Virtual 4 which is the Angular team's own flavor for the virtual scroll um, functionality and we have uh, two options here either declare that this is auto size which means uh, it will detect uh, that what size what height the components have inside this viewport and or we can specify specifically 
the item size in pixels. I will go with the auto size option, but you, depending on your application, you may want to use the other one. And let's hit this. Okay, at first glance, seems like nothing changed, but let's open this up and see what happens now. As you can see here, we have about 10-ish uh, render components instead of 10 thousands. So, and see, let's see if I scroll the page, what happens? Do you see that? We still have the 10-ish uh, components, but the view uh, changes while we scroll. This is in a nutshell what Visual Scroll does for us. And to demonstrate its power, if I were to search the same number here, 505, and go back, you see there is no slacking issue. It's uh, quite responsive and yeah, it eliminates pretty much all performance issues here. So this is it guys. Uh, this is the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please do reply in the comments, subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And you can find a link to the uh, code base we used here in the description below. See you in the next time. Bye.